Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial for this look, and this is a um, Ilamaska promo image for I forget what collection. Um, uh, shit, I don't know. Um, it'll be in the title though. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys have probably seen this before. It's like it was all over the internet when it first came out. But I kind of waited to do it, and for some reason I was looking through the Ilamaska site, and I was like, I need to do that. So I tried it out and um, this is kind of how it turned out. It's not perfectly even, but it's about as close as it's going to get. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to know how to do it and watch me do it, I guess, I don't know, um, then just stay tuned and here's the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing to start off this look is obviously to cover your brows. So cover them as best as you can. It's, yeah, just do that. <laughs> um, so the next thing is to really, it's... The hardest thing about this is matching it on both sides um, and making them even. So, I mean, doing one eye, super easy, but matching them is going to be a, a giant pain in the ass. So, anyway, the black eyeliner that I'm using is the one from Prestige. And yes, you guys can probably see that I did do the sponge thing on my nails, if you can prove it, wondering. Um, but yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the brow and I'm going to try to. Like, I want to look in a mirror and try to map out where everything should go. Um, I did mine kind of like right above my natural brow. And yeah, so it's going to be a little, a little bit cra crazy to do it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to do the brow and then uh, show you how to do the eye. Okay, so then once the brows are done, the next thing that I did was I cleaned up. Now, when I covered my brows, I covered it in a concealer foundation. So I'm actually going to use this on like a very tiny um, brush just to clean up anything that's not perfectly even. Because you want it as smooth as possible. It's going to be a little bit hard to do that. But um, that's what I'm going to use just to kind of touch up any edges and kind of fix the shape. Like they're not even. I know they're not even, but... Just try your best and yeah. Okay, so then once you get the brows to your liking, the next thing to do is the eye shape. It looks a little complicated, but it actually really isn't. Um, the first thing you want to do is you just want to start with just kind of a basic eyeliner. going all the way in um, to the corner of your eye. Like so, and then you can thicken it based on your preference. Well, kind of like a, just a little bit of a flick on the end. And then you want to just follow it down. And then make a little arch kind of up like that because you want to make the circular thingy right here. And then now is going to be the fun part of trying to get it to match on both sides. So that's kind of like a rough guide and then I found what I'll do is after I kind of put the thicker line and everything I went in with the q-tip and it's really easy to go in with the q-tip and like clean everything up so that's kind of the basic shape you want you just want it to be even on both sides so I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that okay so then once that shape is done I'm gonna go in and clean it up after the next thing is to do like the bottom part and you want to extend it down and then take this and this is the part that's like kind of difficult 
because my eyelashes get in the way. Just to draw this bottom line under. And then this here ends up curving. And then does a little kind of like S curve like that. So that's kind of the basic thing. And then now is the fun part of just kind of going in and cleaning it up. Um, you can thicken the lines and then go in with a Q-tip and clean it. Um, so I'll show you. I just kind of went like this with my own eyeball. And you don't want it like super wet. And then you can go in really easily. And then just kind of use the other side and clean up any lines. So that's kind of how I did it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to make them even on both sides and show you how to finish up the rest of the eye. Okay, so then once I've evened things out to the best of my <laughs> abilities, um, the next thing I did is I just applied mascara. And I'm going to use these eyelashes. And yes, these eyelashes are green and purple. But when I have them on, you can't really, really tell. But this is the kind of shape that I wanted um, for them, kind of like on that outside corner so that's the only kind of shape that I had so I'm gonna go ahead and apply those and show you how to finish up the rest of the look so once the eyes is done then the next thing I forgot to tell you guys to do is that there's a little bit of like white eyeshadow on there so I'm just taking like kind of just a basic shimmery white eyeshadow and I'm just putting it on this lid part now I did put this on after just in case I needed to go over and clean anything up it's sort of easier to just put the eyeshadow on there after. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Like that kind of makes like a shimmery white. And then another thing too that I don't want to forget is that there is a little kind of like beauty mark thing up here on the cheek. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. Just a little circle. Okay, so for the rest of the face, then, you want to go ahead and do cheeks. Um, for cheeks, I just used a mix of Dolly Pop and Love Plus from Sugar Pal. Yay, I remembered names. And I just used it on um, a brush like this, so I kind of just tapped in a little bit of both. Make sure you tap that off, because it is really pigmented. And then I'm just going to dust this kind of on my cheeks. But then the next thing for this look is the lips and the lips I am actually going to put the lipstick on first and the lipstick color that I figured was kind of close to the one in the picture is this from Lime Crime it's called Centrifuge. I just got these in from Lime Crime and they always come like broken and bent and yeah they definitely have a packaging issue but um, anyway so I'm going to go ahead and apply this and show you just kind of how to like outline it. Okay, so once that lipstick applied, the next thing you want to do is outline it with um, black eyeliner as well. So I obviously can't talk during this, so I'm going to go ahead and do it and try not to completely fuck it up. So, yeah. Okay, so then once the lips are done, just try to get them as even as you can. Same thing for the rest of the look. Um, that's kind of the finished look. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of fun. And thought I'd like to do something graphic every now and then. I haven't done something like this in a while where it sort of practices your eyeliner and your lining skills and kind of your cleanup skills and all that stuff. Um, it's really fun. And I don't know what you could use this for, but it's cool anyway. So, uh, well, you could technically use it for like... Um, a cartoon girl kind of thing. It'd be on the same sort of lines as this when in terms of like eyebrows and graphic eyeliner and outlining the lips. So you could use it for that. Um, yeah, so I do hope you guys enjoy this and until my next video, I'll talk to all you soon.